Marshall provides the, the support that we need to actually be a support from here. And it provides a buff. The buff is attack speed. Attack speed and uh, damage on hit. So essentially, my passive, I already give to other people. Now that doubles. That shit doubles now. Okay. Again, we did the necessary poke damage, we initiated the fight, and we give out the support. There's nothing they can really do at that point. Bellica doesn't do enough damage to me, and I regen faster than she can real than faster than she can come back with her abilities. So it's she's really no threat to me right now until she gets her fifth item. She's no threat to me. Once she gets her fifth item, that's when I should start to worry about it. That's when I should not be picking those fights the way I just did. I'm lagging a little bit. These bursts of lags are crazy. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead. Well, never mind. I thought we we're gonna go ahead and get prompt. Can we get? Can we get? You wanna get? Can get. We can. Okay, never mind. Whatever. This was perfect setup to get it too. Brooks. Super annoying. Oh, oh, an off lane. He can be, I believe. Yeah. I have my ultimate. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and put a dent into Marshall. Alright. Shinobi just got ganked the fuck up. Come on, Rick. An allied tower is destroyed. Tower under siege. Killing spree. Mm. I don't do nowhere near as much damage, but what I did right there is make sure their Bellica dies. See how much damage he did, though? 200 damage. 200 damage he did right there. And and three uh and three He reloaded twice. So essentially now I have my right click maxed out. I ain't scared of you, bro. I ain't scared of you, bro. I ain't scared of you, bro. Go, motherfucker. Ally tower. Attack. An allied 
towers destroyed. I didn't press that. I thought I was playing Paragon. Oh my god. Enemy tower under attack. So now we're gonna max out our Q. Again, our E is no, no is pointless to have. Yeah, our our Q is pointless to I mean our E is pointless to upgrade because it's just a mana drainer. And again, late game it does something significant. Early game it doesn't really make it too much of a difference, rather than just an oh shit button. People would argue that fact, and people would say I'm a fucking dumbass motherfucker for thinking this, but I don't give a fuck what they think. I've got the, I've got, I've, I see the results and I play this character every single day and every single lane. I know what to expect. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up Requiem since it's maxed out to 20. Once it's maxed out to 20, it's good to go. It's, it's cooked and ready to get out of the oven, bro. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and... So now we have our R level 2, which makes it extremely powerful. And I'm conflicted with tower under attack. I still feel like enemy, enemy towers destroyed. I still feel like Crystal Tear is so much better. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Easy shit, boys. Easy shit. Easy shit, boys. That was fun. Again, very easy to, to manipulate Muriel's abilities. The only critique I would have is her E uh, add... 100 add 40 more mana to it so make it cost 140 mana and give it a debuff and a speed up ability to match her kit with her right click and her e to basically give her a combo ability make it a make her a combo ability using